Hello lovely children. Welcome to lesson 3 in science. We are still on living things. Living and non-living things. So let's quickly go through our objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to know some living things in your locality based on our previous lesson. You should also know some basic needs of living things. And the last one, you should know why the living things need such basic needs. Our first key word is survive. Survive. The next one is need. 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 Then the last one is habitat. Habitat. Let's look at the explanation or the definition for them. So when we say survive, it means to continue to live or exist. To continue to live or exist. Need. They are the things you must have for life. They are the things you must have for life. And habitat means a natural home or environment where animals, living things and organisms live. A natural home or environment of an animal, plant, and other organisms live. Okay, in our previous lesson, we studied about living things and their characteristics. And we said living and non-living things have a way or features in which we can describe them. We said living things need water to survive. They have basic needs, that is water, air, and food. On the other hand, non-living things do not need anything to survive. We also said that Living things have lifespan, they are mortal. On the other, on the other hand, non-living things do not have lifespan. Now let's take two common, most common living things around. So we have animal and plant. We are going to talk about some basic needs of animals and plants. In order to survive, all living things need air, water, and food. That's the basic needs of living things. So animals obtain food from plants and other animals, which give them energy to move around and to look for playmates. So we are going to take it step by step. We will look at the needs of animals first. Then we go to the needs of plants. Okay, so all animals need air. Yes, they need air to breathe. Okay, so let's take this scenario. Okay, let's take a bottle and a cage. When you put a cat in the cage and a bottle, which one will it survive in it? Is it the cage? Or the bottle. It is the cage. Very good. Because air passes through the cage. But on the other hand, in the glass, it will die. Animals also need water to survive. As human beings, we all need water. When you don't get water, you become thirsty. Yes, animals too need water they can't survive without water so that is another basic need of animals another one is food animals like grasshopper and the rest they need nuts and seeds other animals to depend on other animals to survive for example a tiger it's a carnivore. It eats animals. So animals need nuts and other animals to survive. And that is what? Food. 
So animals need food to survive. They also need shelter. Shelter to protect them from bad weather. Yes, when it is about to rain, animals run to look for shelter to hide. So animals need shelter as what? One of their basic need. They also need shelter to run from predators. They need shelter to run from where? From predators, to protect them from predators. So imagine a deer seeing a tiger coming. It needs to what? Run and hide in its what? In its cage or in its cave. Yes. So that is shelter. Okay, now let's go to the needs of plants. Yes. Plants also have needs. Good. For in order for a plant to grow, you know, plants we have baby plants. They go through certain development. When we were talking about characteristics, we said plants grow. They go through stages of development. So from baby plant to parent plant. So plants, in order for a plant to grow, it needs certain basic things. Okay, so the first one is air. The first one is air. Now, let's try this activity at home. Just pluck a plant and use rubber to tie it. And the other one, just leave it there. Then tell me the difference in three days' time. Yes, without air, plants can't survive. Let's move on. Plants need water in order to grow. Plants need water in order to flourish. So you see the green leaves, you see the flower and all. If you don't water your plants, it will become dry. Good. The next one is plants need food. So the food that plants need is the nutrients. The nutrients from certain organisms in the soil in order to what? Grow. Plants also need sunlight from the sun. That serves as what? A nutrient. So it is a food for them to what? To grow. Plants also need protection from what? Bad weather. That is shelter. They also need place to live and grow. So a place that is the soil that is convenient for them, fertile for them to grow. So these are the basic needs of living things, animals and plants. Yes, let's go over what we did. Okay, so today we talked about some basic needs of for plants and animals we said in order for all living things to live or to survive they need some basic things we have air water food and shelter animals obtain food from plants and other animals that's the carnivores they eat other animals we also looked at the needs of plants. We said plants need air to survive. They need water to survive. They need food, that is nuts, seeds, and other animals to survive. They need protection from bad weather, that is shelter. They need shelter to protect them from bad weather. They need shelter to protect, to protect them from predators. Then we talked about plants. Then we looked at plants. We said plants need water to survive. So I gave you an activity to do. Put a plant in a, in a rubber and tie it and leave the other one there. Then they need air to survive. That is the experiment for air. Then water. They need nutrients. That is good nutrients. 
into bracket food. The soil should be mixed with nutrients, that is some microorganisms for them to grow. They need sunlight from the sun, it's a form of nutrient. So for a plant to grow, it needs sunlight. They also need a shelter to protect them from bad weather. They also need place to live and grow. Yes, so these are the basic needs of plants and animals. Now I have an assignment for you. You are a living thing, right? A human being. So now, what are some of the basic needs of living things? Write them down. When we meet at Zoom meeting, we will discuss them. Okay, children, please take this lesson serious because you are going to develop on that. Be good children and always wash your hand with soap and water. Till I come your way, bye.